with such cold conditions since the middle of December, I wanted to answer the question, why is it so cold? Well, to do this, let's take a look at the charts for early December. This is the chart for 500 millibars. It's about 18,000 feet above our heads, and it's very useful for showing us the position of the jet stream. This was the chart on the 2nd of December. If I add the jet stream on, you can see how it was flowing across the Atlantic and just dipping to the south of the British Isles. However, it was bringing mild southwesterly winds through the country, and had done so throughout November. There was another branch of the jet stream as well, which was through the Mediterranean. This was bringing some fairly unsettled conditions across Italy and the Balkans. If we look at the surface chart then for the same date, you see how low pressure was centred out in the Atlantic. It was just west of the British Isles and was quite a complex feature. It was pushing front eastwards through the country, bringing frequent bands of rain and mild conditions. High pressure was centred over the Azores Islands. Now, let's look at the position in early January. This was the 4th of January, 6am in the morning. Again, it's the 500 millibar forecast chart, and this shows the jet stream at about 18,000 feet. Now, the jet stream had been shifted much further south, across Iberia and also through the Mediterranean. This has brought really unsettled conditions through these areas throughout Christmas and into the new year. The surface pressure chart shows how low pressure has now been displaced. You can see a complex area of low pressure to the west of Iberia. It still has fronts around it, but now these fronts are flowing through the Mediterranean and central parts of Europe, bringing much more unsettled conditions here. The Azores High is split into two. One section of it is deep in the tropics, another is up over Greenland, and it's that that's encouraging the cold northerly winds to flow southwards through the British Isles and bringing frequent snow showers to northern and eastern coasts. Of course now the question is how long will this cold weather last? Well these are the latest forecast charts. Now you need to treat these with a pinch of salt. They're going up to the 20th of January 2010 and these are the forecast charts based on information brought in at 6am on the 4th of January. So really this is crystal balling it, but they give us a good indication as to what the models overall expect. And you can see by the 20th of January, low pressure is expected to be to the west of Ireland, high pressure still to the east, and we're still in this cold east to southeasterly flow. Now typically, models do try to bring in much milder air from the Atlantic as they get to the end of their forecast cycle, so it's not surprising that milder air is on the scene to the west of the country. However, what this says to a meteorologist is that the cold air is still through the country and this is significant given that tendency for models to try to bring in much milder air. So it looks as if we're stuck for the time being with these colder conditions. But what of the jet stream? Well, one branch of it is through the Mediterranean, so still continuing to bring unsettled conditions here. But another branch of it is to the west of the country. Now notice how that's starting to dip down into the Atlantic and then north, flowing northwards west of the British Isles. Now this may just be a phenomenon of the model trying to bring in milder air again, but it may just hint that a battle is starting to take place between the mild air to the west and the much colder air to the north and the east of the country. Of course, we'll wait and see. Models can be notoriously inaccurate, but at the moment the signals are that the cold weather stays with us until at least the middle to the end part of January. Well, I hope that's been a useful explanation to you. The charts used in this video can be found at weatheronline.co.uk. It's well worth going to the site, clicking on the expert chart section and having a look around here. Or why not get WeatherWise? A DVD which contains over 35 short videos totaling two hours explaining how the weather works. You can order your copy now online at www.weatheronline.co.uk slash services slash shop. Thanks for watching.